Ladies and gentlemen, it seems that I've been beat. I've officially run out of content ideas to make. I don't even know if I can make it in the film industry. Maybe I should just settle for a desk job. Yep. Would you be interested in being the star of my next production? What? I want to make a documentary about you. Why? I've never done one before. Plus, I've never seen you before. So, I think you should consider it. Okay, how does it work? It's simple. All I do is follow you around with the camera for one day, and then edit the footage together, and then I make a really cool movie about you. Alright, when are we going to start? I'll send you the information later tonight regarding when we're going to be shooting. Sound good? Alright. Okay. Alright, kid. Who are you and where are you from? My name's Kid. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Wait, is your name actually Kid? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't really like it, though. Really? Such a cool name. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the interview. Uh, what's your future goals and favorite hobbies? Um, I really enjoy writing, you know, reading, um, playing music, uh, snowboarding, playing video games, you know, basic stuff. That's pretty cool. And for our next question, what was the biggest struggle you've overcome in your life? Well, you know, a few months ago, I ended up uh, getting some brain surgery. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about it, but yeah, I'd say that's probably the biggest struggle I've had in my life. How have you been doing since then? I've been doing all right, I think. I mean, yeah. That's good. Uh, looks like that's all the time we have for now. Um, is it possible for us to schedule another interview next or next time? Yeah, I'm free. Cool. Oh. What up? You forgot your wallet? Alright, uh, I'll, I'll take care of it. About your brain surgery, how did it come to that? Um, a little while ago, uh, a tumor up top. So, operating was the only thing we could do. And you know, that's what we did, and I don't remember much after that. I guess it turned out just fine. Unfortunate. Yeah. The doctor said it had something to do with genetics. It runs in the family. So, what's the deal with that bottle cap you're holding there? I don't know. There's some writing on it. HWS? What do you think that means? I. I don't know. I don't know where that came from.
Okay. Okay, kid, we're here to just shoot some B-roll. B-roll? Yeah, so basically, you're just gonna walk around and do stuff that probably correlates with what I said in the interview. Alright, I mean, that can't be too hard. Okay, so just act like I'm not here. Okay, keep walking. Keep walking. Oh, that looks really nice. Walk from this way. Walk this way. I can make it work. Okay, now walk back. Yeah, yeah, come back. Okay, now walk. <laughs> Are you okay? So with that statue. Statue? Harvey W. Scott, pioneer, editor, and publisher. Molder of opinion in Oregon and the nation. Whis. Whis? Yeah, like, you know, the sound all of his initials make when you say it real fast. Wait a minute, what did that bottle cap you had earlier really say? HWS. Oh, so. Wait. Harvey W. Scott. HW. Well, you don't think that has like a correlation with it, do you? Let me see. Wait, it's pointing left and. He's also pointing left. You think he wants us to go somewhere? It's a bit of a stretch, isn't it? Well, it can't hurt to try. Okay, let's shoot on this bench right here. Ooh, that's cool, that's cool. You find something? Bottle cap. Another one. Oh yeah, you're right. Spreading on this one too. Really? Yeah. What does it say? It's an N, or I mean, it's got an, like an N or a Z on it, and like the eight or an infinity sign. Or two O's. Two O's? Yeah, I mean, you could look at this as you know, zoo. That would make sense. I haven't been to the zoo in a while. You want to go tomorrow? Yeah, shoot some more B-roll. Yeah, totally. Me? Um, I always kind of like lions. What about sea lions? Well, they don't even look like lions. Hey, I found another ball cap. Is there anything on the back? Yeah, it looks like Chinese. Well, how do you know that? I dabble with Google Translate a lot. Wait, I can translate this with the app. Here, hold this. What is it? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, sorry about that. So it's the onomatopoeia for a barking dog. So it's like bark, bark, but it's long, long. 
All right, so what, like Chinese dogs? I'm gonna try looking that up. All right. Huh. What's what? that? Yeah. It's a Chinese dog statues. Okay. No, that's not a place to go. Wait a minute. I know where that is. It's like the like the food dogs that are in Chinese gardens. What is there a Chinese garden here? Lonsu Chinese Garden. I didn't know this place existed. It was added over there. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. No, it was a uh, cathedral. A cathedral? Cathedral Park. Can you see that? Alright, so you have to ride at Cathedral Park. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Um, wow, it's a really nice place. Yeah, it's like really nice. And they like line up and everything. Yo, let me see that bottle cap. Oh, yeah, okay. Here you go. The shapes kind of match up. Yeah? Like the bottle cap and the bridges? Yeah. Hey, let me see that. Hey, it kind of does. Whoa. That's a really nice tree. Yeah, let's go check it out. Wow. Yo, what's that? What? What is that? This old camcorder. Is there anything on it? Let's check. There's just one old video. Alright, we'll play it. Hey kid, it's me, you. If you're watching this, I assume the treatment went all right. You probably won't even remember making this video or some of the other things like what your best friend's dog's name is or where you put your wallet. So I set up a creative security system using bottle caps. Oh, uh, what else, what else? Oh yeah, the reason I set this whole thing up is because you're the only person I can trust with the secret location. You know the alley between the Asian market and the liquor store in Chinatown? Go there, and you should find a door. Knock on it twice and ask for Marco. He'll tell you where the money is. How much money was it? In case you forgot how much you worked so hard for. There are more than four zeros that follow the number one. What you've done is beyond illegal. But the authorities don't know anything. There's still more work that needs to be done. Who are you? I don't. I don't 
No. 